this is H.J. Bailey. And I'm J.B. And welcome back to Let's Play Seiken Densetsu 3! Since last time I finished the level grinding here, I got up to level 25, took about 20 minutes or so. Not bad, not bad. And I also made it back to my uh, back right there on the world map. Got ahead to the Island of Oblivion. Fortunately, it's not nearly as big as Oblivion. I actually never finished that game. Yeah, the game is so huge. I prefer more linear games myself. Mm -hmm. I tried playing that game and it was like, there's so much to do, it's like, where do I go? And no direction. And I mean, some people I really had, like that. But. I had the same problem initially in uh, Fallout 3, but... Then once I got into it, I was like, I just like finished it much quicker than I did in uh, Oblivion. Oblivion, I got really sidetracked easily. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually considering buying the uh, New Vegas uh, expansion they did, or a uh, side game, whatever it is, for it, because it's on uh, like uh, 15 bucks on Steam right now. I like how they have all the elements with their opposites there for this scene. Ah. Nice touch there. I summon the power of Lucky Charms! Tate's the Rainbow! Or, wait a minute, that's a... I don't know what Tate's the Rainbow... Or, that's Skittles, isn't it? Yes. Not Lucky Charms. <laughs> Oops. No. I like Skittles. I haven't had them in, like, forever. Keep try. That's not very reassuring. <laughs> Trying to think of a line from, uh, what was that show? Uh, I would it was. quote Dragon Ball Z except I just used the bathroom. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, wait, is it working? Did it work? Yay! Happy music! Yay! What, what do you mean by that? Well then, let's go! What is that? Danger music! I love this music. Now we get to hear the whole thing. That's all Tana, the bad guys. Or one of the bad guys. It looks like, uh... What is it? Garnet's... The queen in Final Fantasy IX, the fat one. Uh, uh, Bron. Bron. That kind of looks like one of her era ships. Yeah, it does kind of. But I like how they have like a cool airship like that. You know, it's a nice touch. Ow. And it has bombs. Oh yeah. <laughs> if you have Duran here, you get a little extra dialogue here because. Well, if you play his path, you'd know. Gigantes. That's a nice name for an airship. How did you know I love having bombs strapped on my head? <laughs> what a nice present. But yeah, none of us are opposed to uh, Altena, so we don't care. Well, it looks like you guys are a little late to the party. Hmm. He doesn't really seem to be all that interested. He already got his ass kicked. Hmm. So how are you guys going to get there? Oh yeah, they were kind of talking about those early in the game when they were invading Wendell. Wouldn't you kind of see them coming though? Doesn't really make for a good invasion if you can see them coming like that. Still, that is kind of cool, you know? It fits into the whole beast theme and animals and all that, you know? It 
If the birds are that big, don't you think they would use them as like a uh, war mount kind of thing during the invasion? Hmm. Yeah. And Hawk's nemesis, or nemesis, whatever the world, word is for nemesis, or plural for nemesis. What do you mean by that? Well, that's good for us then. Okay, now this is the part that doesn't jive with me. Okay, so Altana has that huge freaking military airship, right? Pretty cool. The beasts have those huge birds, right? The forces of darkness, the devil, they have a ship with balloons on them. Freaking balloons! Lords of the underworld! God, and I had the energy drink. <laughs> what the hell? I mean, you might as well put a hang glider on that. Oh, right, they did that in the other game I was just playing. You, you want to put a rocket booster on the thing while you're at it? I don't know where this energy is coming from. I just like... It's like the Excedrin suddenly kicked in or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It was like... Balloons! Well, at least they all float. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> uh, we just got bombarded from the air, fairy. Well, I guess we might as well just pack our bags and go home. Let them duke it out. Oh, really? Huh. Relante, huh? Hmm. I didn't think Kevin remembered his mother that much. Hmm. Well, okay, let's head on over there then. Well, only one place we can go. We can't use the flute here, so uh, we gotta use it on this beach. And we can't get to the uh, the portal because it's way up in the air. The first time I played the game, I was like, why don't they just jump off the cliff and go right into the portal? You know? I, yeah, I thought it was like below them or that this island was the Mono Holy Land. But no, you got to take a portal to a, I don't know, another dimension or something. So, but anyway, we got to get to Rolante. And uh, the only reason I'm doing this on screen is because I don't think we've been to the beach at Rolante. So, yeah, I figured I'd show you there, but then I'll meet you up top there off screen. Uh, nice relaxing music as the world is coming to an end imminently. But there are no side quests to do for this. Even though the world is coming to an end. Okay, I think this is the right one. This should be the one right by Halo. If I'm not mistaken. Path to the Heavens? Okay, yeah, we're good. And this is... Yeah, okay, that's correct. Okay, so yeah, we're just going to meet you up top, because all the enemies here are the same, so take the same path to Rolante as we did the first time. Alright, we've made it up top to Rolante. And just by sheer luck, it's actually nighttime by the time we got here. Woohoo. Talk to this one. Oh, well we don't have Lise with us. Well, I'll do what I can. She reveals a secret passage. One hell of a secret passage. Alright, the summit of the sky. It's basically the same enemies we ran into before, except they're much higher level. And this is why I did all that level grinding. All the enemies here are level 25. The, the enemy levels really spike at this point in the game. Okay, is there anything here that I shouldn't use? The abilities the game gave me to use? <laughs> Um, no, no, I don't think there's any enemies to really worry about. Okay. Honestly, I'm not really that huge of a fan of level 2 and 3 techs. I mean, by the time you can really build up your tech gauge to use them, chances are you've probably already, almost already killed them. I mean, even if you don't have level 1 techs that can, uh, deal 2 hits, you know? I would try to- oh, the armor knight! Yeah, don't, uh, use level 2 techs on him. I forgot that guy was here. Try to kill the armor knight last if you can. Let's see, let me do it. Let me do it. Shut or you can. Oh, we got it in. Okay. It's a common drop, and I was worried that Hawk might um, get the rare drop there. 
Yeah. I'm just that look. There we go. I don't think I learned any new spells for Carly Wild Grind. Oh, I learned some new sabers, but uh, nothing too special there. Yeah. Ooh, grab that one. You sh sure you don't want it? No, nah, nah. only if it's the knights, because they're the only ones who have the common draft. Check out your spells. You, I think I got something new for you. Yeah, I got uh, Fire Jutsu. That reduces uh, enemy intelligence. So it boosts, it reduces, okay, you can get out of there now. But uh, yeah, it reduces both their offensive and defensive capabilities with magic. So that's something to keep in mind there. Well, that was fast. That's it? Yeah, <laughs> that's the summit of the skies. Yeah. Hey, hey! That looks like a familiar face. It's a mana beast. Hmm. Oh. Well, what happened to the father of the winged ones? I like the background they got going there. That looks pretty good for a Super Nintendo game. Reminds me of Terra Nigma. Or, not Terra Nigma. Uh, well, yeah. The one before that. Gaia. Illusion. Illusion Gaia? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it reminds me a little bit of Terra Nigma, too, but, uh. Oh, it's a girl. You swing that sword like a girl! Like she a beauty. Flamey! Or probably pronounced Flammy, but I'm gonna pronounce it Flamey anyway. You pronounce it the other way and I will put my fist... Somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> That's what happens when we don't script our episodes, folks. Sorry. Yay! Happy music! I love the flaming music in this game. I'm not controlling this, by the way. Look! No hands! But yeah, this all this is all automatic, and we gotta head to the, uh... Mono Holy Land. It's north! Turn left! Left! Flaming! Flaming! No! No! Bad! Bad! Flaming! Bad dragon! Or whatever you are. It is a dragon, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. Left, left. There you go. Yeah, this is all automatic. You can't just go anywhere you want with Flamey at this point in the game. There you go. We take the portal, and now we're in the Mount of Holy Land. Can't control this either. So it, it's all fixed, kind of like uh, airships in Final Fantasy II. Or just ships in general. Well, all right, looks like we made it, and, uh, what? Looks like they're all... Looks like our plan is working! They're all kicking each other's ass! Awesome. Well, that'll make life easier. But can we get the Mana Sword before anyone else does? Find out next time on Let's Play Second and Setsu 3! I'm H.C. Bailey. And I'm J.B. Signing off. Have a good day! Yeah, just crack your neck there, Kevin. Did Carly just see that, too? Probably.